I don't, I don't think people, governments need to rush at mm. this, actually. I think you take your time a bit and see mm. what the best way of making the law is. I mean, sometimes you can get into trouble because you rush mm -hmm. in and regulate this stuff, and then you discover that you've done a stupid thing, actually. Um, deliberately thinking it through and thinking of the pros and cons. and It's not illegal in Korea, is it? It's, it's a little bit complicated. But it's not regulated. Blockchain is okay, but cryptocurrency is not okay. So in Australia, for example, mm -hmm. we did have a situation where uh, Bitcoin mm -hmm. was treated as a commodity, uh -huh. which meant that it got taxed twice mm -hmm. because it was a, like a goods and services. Mm -hmm. So maybe it was a, a GST mm -hmm. tax, but then it got taxed again if there was a capital gain in this as well. So, so in Australia, we decided, we said for the tax purposes, Bitcoin is a currency, mm -hmm. no. so they were happy about that. Mm -hmm. um, but the, we said in return for that, we're going to require registration of crypto mm -hmm. exchanges, and you're going to have to comply mm -hmm. with some of these mm -hmm. uh, KYC, yeah. customer due mm -hmm. diligence requirements. So that's something Korea could do, I think. And in fact, now that the FATF has published these yeah. recommendations mm -hmm. and guidelines, they're going to have to do it. Yes. So, mm -hmm. but you know, I don't think, provided they're working towards that, I don't think they have to do it tomorrow or the next mm -hmm. day, but provided they do it in the next mm -hmm. year or so, I think this is probably good enough, actually. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for your opinion, <laughs> sir. All right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>